So um, now we move to the step, which is to really perform the ad student. Um, so to perform the actual ad um, of the student's information to the database, we need to work with the database. So again, we need to create a handler. So we will create a new student handler over here. And there, there are several tasks that we need to do with the students. But by now, I'll focus on adding the students. So we are getting back to this one. And now I'm going to create a new um, student handler, new Java class on the data access object. And we'll say student handler. And for this student handler, um, I will need to have a, um, I want to have a um, SQL Util as well, private um, SQL Utility, SQL Util, SQL Util equal to, whenever I create a new object, I'll do SQL Util equal to new SQL Util, yep, that one. Then we need to do um, public int um, add students. So the int here will be number of um, students that you add. If it's it won't return like one row so if you added one row or if you have some arrows it won't return minus one. So you do add students here and when we add student we'll need to insert student um, string student name. You will not insert the student uh, um, ID because I use that field as auto increment. You can see it from SQL file. So string student name, string student address, um, and you need to have the int cohort ID and int um, surf ID, which is the one who um, adds the students. So for this one, we're going to create a string um, CMD, um, string CMD template um, will be inserted into student. Um, and I only insert student name, student address, um, cohort ID, and, and surf ID. I do not insert the student ID again, as I, as I said. So the values will be the first um, student name is going to be a string. Um, second um, is going to be another string, um, quoted inside the single quote. And the third one is the um, cohort ID. It's a number. Uh, no need the quote. The fourth one is another number. No need the quote end of the statement and for this one it is a template then I'm going to do string um, string cmd command equal to um, string dot I need to format that cmd template and I'll be the student name for the first one student address for the second one cohort ID for the third one star ID for the uh, fourth one then I should have my SQL commands um, like insert into student, give, give the uh, student name, student address, core ID, core, um, and start ID with the actual um, values of them populated into these um, placeholders. So the next one is to execute it, and I'm just simply um, return um, SQL util, SQL util, we already performed this execute um, update that command. Execute update will do insert update and delete here. Okay. So for this, we are um, ready for um, adding students there. So the next steps will be go back to the form add students. So um, design. And if you click on um, ads over here, so double click on that. So if we are about to um, add students over here, we'll just get input value. So we'll have um, string student name equal txt name, which is our um, text field name, dot get text from that um, string as address equal txt address dot get text as well a bit slower about it because i'm recording videos again okay get text 
then we need to know which um, 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 selected item. So we'll know cohort um, cohort equal to CBX, which is combo box cohort dot get selected item. Okay, and then, and I know this is it's gonna return an object in general, but I know it's the cohort item, so I'll convert it into cohort. Then now I'm gonna be able to declare string chid cohort id by taking the selected cohort and get the id. Now um, when user login before when the user login, I already stored that user information into global data as sub. So I can um, access to that currently login serve. This one is currently login serve. Okay, by now it's normal, but when you log in, you'll set it. So I will get that currently login serve. Um, inform at students. Okay, so um, I will get that information here, which is int core now serve id equal to um, global data dot serve dot get the start id so i have the student name student address and so forth um, i will need to declare um, one student handler over here because this form no i don't need to i'll just use it for once so i'll just create um int red which is result equal to new student handler okay and then i'm going to add the students using student names and address score at least score. and if um, red equal to minus one means um we have some error couldn't couldn't um, insert the student won't do the option pane dot show message dialog and we'll say um fail to add students of course we should inspect the arrow and see what's going on but um, by now we don't have that much time so just say fail to add um, else it means that we um, could add successfully so when we add successfully we may inform them or simply clean the form just clear their form so the user is ready to add anyone so we'll just take txt uh, name dot set text into null um, txt address dot set text set text to null as well and then we'll set the cbx the combo box cohort dot set um, selected index to zero which means that's just by default we'll select the first one in the list okay um, and that's it Right now, we are going to run the. Okay, run the application. So I will um, try to add, and this will add me to login. So I'll say a account. Then this one will say password is pass p a s s. Then I will log in first. Then I will try to add again. I will say okay. Um, one student video. Just just mean that I add it from video. Video student, and I will select um, the second one then. Okay, spring 2022 click on add and it's now clear the form and also um, bring me back to the first one which means that um, it should be successful and no errors over here so we now get to the um, form and try to select everything from student and we should have that okay we have student ID over here one student from video um, this one never mind. I actually inserted some before I think so um, It start index with two, but it should start index with one in many other cases then You can have video student added the cohort is second one we selected and the staff um, ID is the first one in there Okay, so we now successfully um, 
we now successfully um, add the student. So just to add one more thing, um, which is whenever we run, we need to um, add the uh, login. So from the future work, I would not like to log in anymore. So I want to perform the first things, which is to switch off the um, login option. So go to the main, click on source. So whenever we show form, I will switch the um, show login, check login to forms. But when I do not check login, I have to set a default user over here, but be careful to remove that. But I will set default user, which is staff. And I quit the staff, which is user number one, and um, which is um, A. So default, oh, no big deal. Okay, as long as I take the ID is number one for that um, in the future. So for this one, um, when I go run, I will not have to look in anymore. This one is, uh, again, it's just a quick tweak for um, development. So um, we click on add, we don't have to log in because I disabled that behavior. So let's say um, another one, another one. So another one. And I'm gonna select, um, yep, just keep the first one. Click on add, it's clear. So now let me um, go select from this one. Select everything and run. Okay, we do have another one added over here. And by default, again, the star is the number one. And I um, select the first cohort, so it should have this one. So now we have successfully um, inserted the data. Next one, we should move to viewing the data.